Hi, um, in this video I'm going to be going over the first Unity tutorial. So, um, to get started I'll show you how to create a prefab. Uh, basically a prefab is in a game object that you can spawn in multiple times and um, like for these energy orbs for example I can edit one of them and it'll change all of them at the same time. So, um, to create a prefab, one way you can do it is if you have a mesh already, you could drop it into the scene. So this is a, just a basic mesh that we have here. And I can go over to the hierarchy, and I can drop it into my prefab folder. And I have it already here because I just did it. But we can see that it just added in this enemy one. And um, that's basically how you can make a prefab. And I can take this, this guy, he is now a part of the prefab. And I can drag him onto the scene as many times as I want. Okay, next I'll show you um, this train that I made by, um, I put my initials into the terrain. DRS, Daniel Ryan Strickland. Um, I, I placed these rocks over here all by myself, but then I also used um, these scattered rocks that came with the tutorial um, to add some more variation without having to place each individual one multiple times. Um, another thing that I can show you is um, I textured the environment. So we have a kind of red dirt. We have a rocky dirt texture, and we also have a normal dirt texture. And um, I textured the environment um, over here um, with these painting tools. And I loaded in these textures by going to Edit Texture and Add Texture. So I can add albedo and normal maps and use those to um, paint this terrain. And I can move my terrain by using this raise and lower terrain tool, like that. Okay, next I'll show you um, how I made colliders for props. So um, these rocks that I made earlier um, in order to get this collider, which is the green sort of polygons here, um, let me just select one of these. So here we have this rock, and we can see the collider mesh. And um, whenever you originally bring in a prop, it doesn't have a collider on it. So we have to create one. And what I'll do is use this prefab from earlier, and drop that in. And in order to create a collider, I will go to Add Component, and I can either do like a box collider or a capsule collider, or I can also do a mesh collider. And this is a specific mesh that we're using. Um, so if I had a lower polygon version of this, then I could use that in order to save memory. So I will go over here and select the right one. Although I don't think the tutorial came with a low poly version of this tank. And since it's already in a capsule, um, what I can do is just delete this mesh collider by doing remove component and I can use this capsule collider and um, I can also change how big it is with radius I can change its height and I think I can move it downward let's see or the center yeah so I can just move this center up like that and that looks good. 
So now we have a box collider for this prop. Next, um, I'll show you some lights. So here I have a point light, and it is colored, just like you asked. <laughs> and um, to create a point light, it's pretty easy. You can just go to the Create panel and go to Light, and you can choose whatever light you want. Um, so creating lights is pretty easy. Um, you can change the color, the range, the intensity, some very basic things over here. Um, one thing that I've never learned about is cookies, which are basically kind of like stencils or shapes that can be emitted from the light. So that's cool. And um, over here, I have my sun, which is slightly colored, as you can see. And if I want to change it for a dramatic effect, I will make it purple. So you can see that's working, but I will undo that. Okay, so particle systems. Um, the dust storm that plays in the game, I did not create myself. That one from the tutorial was just a downloaded standard asset. So what we did was we right-clicked and we did import package, I believe, and you can import some basic Unity um, assets from there. So that's how I imported the dust particle system. And I'll select it right here. So if you look closely, you can see these clouds of dust moving. And um, if I wanted to create a brand new um, particle system, I could just go to the Create panel and click Particle System. So just like Unreal Engine, you have all your basic um, settings over here, like the duration of it, whether it loops or not. Um, also, you can stop or simulate whenever you want. Um, yeah, so lots of um, in-depth settings, um, but most of them, most of the basic ones are just right here. Okay, so the player is when things started to get more difficult. Um, the basic premise for the, the player was to first just have this, this robot here. Now, from the tutorial, he came with, you know, all the animations already made. Um, and, you know, the whole model was already textured and all that. But, um... I think just scripting everything was confusing. Um, so what I can do is go to my prefab and I can hit this arrow and bring up all these different pieces. So the robot, this is our mesh, and these are all of our pieces. I think that move. But basically, the way that this player controller works is we have a rigid body, we have a collider with it, we have the inventory system for these orbs, and finally we have the movement. And of course the animations, which we can look at in the animator window. So this is um, this is basically dictating the animation cycles and when they occur, like if I'm standing still, then we'll be idle, but if I press W, then we'll run. And as soon as I stop running, then we'll finish playing the animation, and we'll go back to idle. And I'll just play the game real quick to show you that it works. So this is idle, and now I'm running. And as you can see, the enemy is moving. And I might as well show you that I have the UI working as well. So we can pick up orbs, and I also have this mothership um, scorekeeper as well. I was trying to follow the tutorial on that, um, and there's my particle system. But I was having a lot of trouble just getting everything to line up and work. So 
I, I'm not sure. I think one of the biggest problems was when when I would play through, and you'll notice that we reset the orbs as I got into collision with that mothership. Um, whenever I was making this, I was trying to make remake the assets myself and not just use the prefabs that came with the game or with the tutorials. And I think how I named them, like instead of energy, I would call it my energy. Or instead of mothership, I would call it my mothership. And I think the fact that I was naming it differently was messing up the scripting. But even when I started using the normal enemy, um, well, the normal mothership and the normal enemy, it still doesn't work properly. And I, I even um, scripted in the game over screen, but of course that didn't work either. Lastly, I'll just go over um, the enemy. Um, just like the player, it has um, a rigid body, a collider, and a movement script. Um, now, what is different about it is it doesn't have animations, mostly because it doesn't have any like body parts. And it also has a nav mesh agent, which for that, that basically was telling it where the paths are on the game so that it doesn't just try to climb over these hills. It actually follows the path in order to try to chase you. And so if I move over here, it should follow the path. You see, it's not just trying to climb over everything. Um, so that's working properly. And how I made that is an, under navigation. I grouped all of my um, static objects together. And then um, I, I made sure that they were all static. And then I clicked on the enemy, just like the tutorial, and I would hit bake. And that was a problem that I told you about in class that wasn't working, but I just switched out my enemy that I made with the tutorial enemy, and that seemed to fix it. But still, um, the scorekeeping for um, bringing back the orbs to the mothership don't work, and of course the game over screen doesn't work, but I'm not too worried about that since this is my, my first main tutorial with Unity. So that was it. Um, hopefully I can get more comfortable with the scripting. And um, yeah, I'll see you later.